Hello and welcome to this very short lecture which explains the use of cost allocation tags against your S3 buckets. It is likely when using Amazon S3 that you are using it for a variety of different use cases and solutions across multiple business units and departments, each with different cost centers. This can make it difficult to manage budgets across your organization. Using bucket tags known as S3 cost allocation tags, you can assign key value pairs at the bucket level to help you with categorization. For example, let's suppose you had three different buckets, each with two key value pairs, project and environment. Using these tags, we can see that each bucket belongs to a different project and also that two of them are considered production and another is test, based on the environment key. Tags like this can be used across all AWS services and help you to manage, categorize and organize your resources in a variety of ways. Using the Cost Explorer from within your AWS Billing and Cost Management, you can report on these key values. For example, you could identify and highlight the costs associated with your resources that were tagged with the Project Cloud Academy. This will then highlight all the AWS resources that had this key value pair, allowing you to get a full understanding of the project costs for that particular project, in this case, Cloud Academy. To add your tags to your bucket, select your bucket and then from the Properties tab, select Tags. Select the tile and configure your tags as required and click save. One point to note is that you must activate your cost allocation tags from within AWS Billing before they will show up on any reports. To do this, go to your AWS Billing and Cost Management dashboard from within the AWS Management Console, select cost allocation tags, and then activate any user-defined tags that you created.